Hi, Renee and Mike. I'm here at 165 Marion Avenue in Mill Valley. This is the first uh, video that I've done for you, so I'll give you some quick instructions. Um, it is a 360 degree video, so you can look up, down, left, and right by dragging your mouse uh, if you're on YouTube on your desktop, and then also you can uh, use your mobile through the accelerometer uh, to get a look at any angle. Uh, I talk pretty fast, so it's best if you do want to take a closer look at any particular area to pause it, and then um, you can look around. All right, so this is a four bedroom, three bath, uh, 2,515 square foot uh, home here on the side of a hill. Um, uh, let's see, Renee. The last one that we saw together um, on Oakdale, same situation that's got um, easy access to the city steps here. Um, my understanding is that these take you actually downtown, so this is accessible by foot to downtown, which is kind of cool. Getting there is probably easy, but coming back will be tough. Um, well, it'll be a workout coming up the hill. All right, so there's three stories here. Um, organized fairly well so the main call it the ground level uh, floor is the living space um, downstairs is a couple bonus rooms and then upstairs is where all the bedrooms are so Renee I know you're looking for an open or a good amount of uh, living space this is manageable it's not the greatest um, you know even though it is a large square footage uh, home you know, because it's three floors, it doesn't really feel optimized for any particular area. Um, but uh, overall, it, again, it's um, it's a good amount of square footage. So um, this would be uh, more or less your, your living room here. And you can just even look. I don't know if um, I'm going to hold this camera as level as I can. But you can see everything is slanting towards uh, the left, which is down the hill. Uh, there's a lot of carpet. Uh, looks like this was painted fairly recently, so uh, there's probably some patching. So we're not going to get the best look at you know the movement uh, in the cracks in the walls. I didn't see any in the first uh, go around here, but it's very clear that you know this is leaning. So here we have. It's kind of dark because you're up here in the, in the trees. Um, there's some sunlight in this particular room, but uh, you're going to need some pretty strong lights in here. Certain times of the day. LEDs would be perfect, so it's a little narrow in this uh, bathroom here, first full bathroom. So there's one here on the main level. I'm not going to even talk about the uh, finishes because I know you're going to need to do everything um, and make it your own. Got a fireplace. You can see the separation. Actually, this is not that bad, but you can see the separation from the fireplace and the, um, the wall, uh, which again is um, just showing that it's moving. Little squeaky floors here. Almost tripped and fell. Okay, and then here's uh, I would call the dining area. So dining room here. This is a little unfortunate. It's kind of like dead space right here because you can't really do too much. It is a walkway from the living area to the kitchen and the dining, but it is a good amount of space. So unfortunately, I kind of consider that dead space. Here's the kitchen, not a large kitchen. Um, with laundry. So um, with this layout, I mean, anything's possible uh, with construction. It's just a matter of how much you want to spend. Unfortunately, because of this staircase here, there really isn't too much you can do to open up that kitchen outside of just uh, open it up on this side here. Right. You could open it up here, uh, make, uh, make the kitchen feel a little bit more spacious, put a large island, and then close up some of this uh, dead space here. So that's what you could do to just make it feel like a little bit larger kitchen. And then you got, there's, I think there's three levels of decks. So here we are. Um, you know, not, not, not necessarily a view of, uh, you know, mountains, etc. but you know, you're up here in nature, so it's a gorgeous view of redwoods. Okay, so that's the main floor, and here you can even see things moving here. See that um, wall edge is, is leaning, you can just see that. Again, this is going to be common for any place that you're looking at in the valley and the, in the hills. Uh, all right, so let's go upstairs first, and this is where 
all the bedrooms are. So there's four of them. Uh, let's start with the master. So the master's on the left here. So again, as I mentioned, as we go through these rooms, you're, you're going to see, even though it's 2,500 square feet, it doesn't feel like it's super optimized for any particular area. And this master is not the largest. Um, again, good view. You can see we're just hanging out on the cliff here. And then they have a balcony off the master here. And uh, the master bathroom. So, you know, the master bathroom is not terribly large either. So that's master. That includes the full bathroom number one, and then this is full bathroom number. So, the, sorry. The main level had a full bathroom. The master has a full bathroom, and this is the third full bathroom shared with the three other bedrooms that we'll see next. Again, this bathroom isn't the largest. And then down this hallway, we have the three other bedrooms that are clustered together. So we'll start here with the smallest one. You know, this being the highest point in the house, this room feels like the most solid and um, not leaning. All right, so that's bedroom number two. Here's bedroom number three. Again, it's gonna be pretty dark in here because of the trees. Got some built-ins. And then bedroom number four. This one's actually pretty small too. So, you know, the four bedrooms, they're, they're pretty small. Master's kind of small. Living area is decent size. And then um, we'll go down to the lower floor, which is where the two bonus rooms are. And we're gonna go one down. So, Renee, I know we saw a couple of homes where it felt like a maze. Um, so even though this is f three floors, it's well organized um, from, a, from a floor plan standpoint. So it doesn't have that like, where the heck am I? And how do I get out? Um, so that's a plus. So here, again, uh, not too much you can do with this is considered a bonus room. As you can see, just the staircase leads through the other room there. So um, it's like kind of a non-functional room. Um, can kind of make this an office, I guess. But here's the largest room of the bonus rooms. Completely different feel in here. And I got these awesome large um, and tall windows. So um, again, a view of the Redwoods. Okay, and then um, so we saw the outdoor deck area on the living floor upstairs. This is the one connected to the master. And then down here we have, um, you know, an outdoor area. It's just a straight drop. Uh, not sure where the property line is, but um, I'm assuming that uh, a good portion of that below um, would be yours, especially with this fence line here. As you can see, the chain link fence. Disclosures will call that out. And in here, another view of this wall here you can see uh, some significant repairs were done leaning to our right which is down the hill so a little creaking as I walk past that but um, we have this outdoor area which is laid by brick and then here's access to the steps which again I believe goes um, to downtown see all that um, okay so what I am noticing is that there's no garage so I'm gonna come back up here to just uh, make sure I believe there are just these two spots up here. Oh, there is a garage. And it's right here. So I don't have access to it. So that's a plus.
They can even see that coming up. But, uh, yeah, it looks like you do have to come inside the house from the outside. I don't believe it's connected, but we can double check. It looks like it could on the top floor, but I don't know. Doubtful, I would have saw the door. At any rate, because it is attached from here, anything's possible in terms of the door. You can build it. But um, clearly, you can see that it just kind of ends here. So, this is the garage right here. It'd be super awkward to have a entrance right into the master, but if you really wanted to, you could do something right out here, which would still be awkward because it leads to your master balcony. Um, okay, so I will send this to you. The next property, uh, we're gonna go to 144 Hillside, which is next to 65 Oakdale, but um, the agent um, is requiring that he be present for all showing, so I can't really talk freely and open about the property, so I'll probably give my cards in an email. All right, thanks.